Good evening, and welcome to Thursday Compline here at St. Mary's Episcopal Church in Dade City, Florida. We thank you for joining us and ask you to leave us some a kind of a comment or reaction so that we know that you are here praying with us as we pray with and for you. As always, our service is guided by the Mission St. Clair app, or you can follow along with us in the Book of Common Prayer. And an order of service for that was sent out earlier this evening. Let us pray. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. And may the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our psalm this evening is Psalm 4. We will say this together. Answer me when I call, O God, defender of my cause. You set me free when I am hard pressed. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. You mortals, how long will you dishonor my glory? How long will you worship dumb idols and run after false gods? Know that the Lord does wonders for the faithful. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Tremble then and do not sin. Speak to your heart in silence upon your bed. Offer the appointed sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. Many are saying, oh, that we might see better times. Lift up the light of your countenance upon us, O Lord. You have put gladness in my heart more than when grain and wine and oil increase. I lie down in peace. At once I fall asleep. For only you, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our word this evening comes from the book of Jeremiah. Lord, you are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Do not forsake us, O Lord our God. Thanks be to God. Please join me now as we say together the prayer responses. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us now say together the prayer that our Lord and Savior taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come unto you. Let us pray. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, 
shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Let us now pray for our own needs and those of others. I lift up to you especially St. Mary's Episcopal Church and her people, that you might continue to guide, guard, and protect us and give us your grace and blessing as we do your ministry in this place. I pray this day for Sharon, for Casey and Crawford, for Jessica and Kate, for Sue, for Kelly, for David, for Becky and Mike, for Alexa and Lauren, for John and David, for Enid and Jan. I pray for Bob and Dee and Adam, Haley, Morgan and Emma. I pray for Bo and Patty, for Kevin and Cindy, Kyle, Jordan, Jamie and Ryan. We pray also this day for Jen and David and family. Are there others to be named? Let us now say together the song of Simeon. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see a light to enlighten the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God, the almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Bless us and keep us. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you this night and forevermore. Amen. My brothers and sisters in Christ, I thank you for joining us this Thursday evening for our prayer for service of Compline here at St. Mary's Episcopal Church in Dade City, Florida. As always, I beseech you to show yourself self-care, take care of yourselves physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Reach out to those you love and help take care of them. Call someone you haven't talked to in a while. You might be the only voice they hear this day. My brothers and sisters, as always, I invite you to our services of worship and praise on Sundays at 745 and 10 o'clock. And if you feel don't, still don't feel safe coming in person to a group service, that 10 o'clock service will be streamed live right here on Facebook. We thank you for joining us this evening. May God bless and keep you this night. Good night.